I've stolen a load of stuff and they caught me. Oh, no, not really. I did, but I got away with that. Only crime's been caught. Yeah, exactly. Only crime's been caught. So annoying. No, I, I went to prison because I'd written a song called With My Hammer and it had worked on me affected me and that was a true story about a group of women who've been to prison i thought if they can go to prison i can go to prison i was a bit scared i thought they were going to cut off my dreadlocks why did they put you in prison uh it doesn't matter uh, i thought they were going to cut off my dreadlocks i thought they were going to inject me with heroin and beat me up uh, no i met a really nice group of women who were just in there because when life's hard you do what you can to get by so sometimes ethics are a luxury so I keep that in mind now. You know, being poor, I grew up raised poor and my, my granddad went to the poor house and so sometimes I did things that, uh, yeah, I wasn't particularly proud of to get by. But I went to prison for road protest, so you don't have to worry. And I learned a lot and I'm braver and prouder as a result. This is for all of you who are going to prison real soon. Yes! <laughs> uh, <laughs> for breach of COVID regulations. And also, and also, for all you who are not going to go to prison because you're going to be like the Luddites and you're going to keep yourself to yourself, yeah. but do whatever you can to Smash stop this machine. <laughs> Microphone to stop spinning around. Yeah. 
Mike supported that. Uh, by the way, we are. Uh, who knows? Who knows what will happen? Whether we'll be able to perform live again? Who knows? But um, we're um, we got one more song in us. Um, but we are recording. We're trying to. We got a whole load of new songs we're working on. We're, we're doing a new CD and that. If anyone is, you know, there are people. It's funny, isn't it? There's people who work in supermarkets or do security work or move heavy weights around or clean things up who uh, are really struggling to get by. And then there's people who sit, and this is no insult, there are probably people here who do it. They've done well to learn and all the rest of it. And they sit in front of a computer and they're kind of their own boss and they do a job and you say, how much would it be to do that on my website? I'm not getting anyone in. They say, oh, that's only going to be 500 quid, mate. And you're like, what the fuck? Yeah. But the point being, there are professional rates. People get a lot of money, some people. When you compare it to other people who do really hard work and uh, work themselves to the bone, and then you compare it to other countries where people spend all, you know. So some of that money is maybe a bit surplus to your requirements. We're trying to appeal to the rich people, but I'm not sure you're doing a very good job. I'd say fuck you, actually. You know, there's no one more generous and more wonderful than people who've earned money through their own aspiration and hard work and I admire them immensely and we're recording a new album we need some help well said. Right. Uh, now I'd just like for the for the old Facebooky thing I'd like one picture of everyone going completely ape shit and so that I can fantastic there's little squares around every face I don't know what it means You just bought a shed. <laughs> oh, no, so sorry. can we have a round of applause for Condra and Jason on the sound, please? <laughs> for all the wonderful people that work in this tent right now, people doing the cafe, those managing, running the tent. Thank you very much. Uh, you can also buy a CD or get one free if you want one. We give them away sometimes. We really like it. Yeah. 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 Did we do on the mic? Yeah, yeah
Thanks a lot, man. Thanks. And uh, Lily, I've not heard, got, got our CDs or anything, we'll sell them now. Cheers. Amazing.